Hello, Philemon here today, and we are going to look at the CFA analysis in AMOS, SPSS AMOS. This is a confirmatory, confirmatory factor analysis in AMOS. Now, here is our model that we'll be looking at. This is a factor model with the three items. So, three factors with three items. We, this is the basic model. Now, these are the basic. This is the basic model that we'll be using. It means we'll have three factors with three items each. Now, come open AMOS. This is our AMOS. This is the uh, interface for AMOS. Now, the first part will be welcome. Uh, will be to draw this model. Now, here is my model. So we have three models. So let's move this so that it shall be symmetrical. Okay, now, now add uh, this this next step. Each factor has three. Now we rotate this on to be on the left side, to be on this side. So we shall have to rotate this. Now, this is now what we are going to do. Now the next step will be to Let's uh, have our variables into the data. Now, before that, let's get, we have to get the, the, the data files that we'll be uh, using in this model. So now this is the data that I'll be using. This data, it has 94 uh, observations. Now, the data has three, this is this data from uh, an, an, uh, Questionnaire. These are responses. I we sure that our data. If you see, these are the the variables, the nine variables. The the measure is scale. So we shall be moving around to see how we fit this model, this factor analysis in SPSS. Now the next thing will be to import these variables into the into these glyphs so let me list my variables here so the first model sus1 is made of sus2 move this 4 and 8 That's according to the second model this 2 6 and 8 Three, four, and seven. So this means that here two. This should be six. Six. Now this should be third model three, four, and seven. Four and seven, and then the last model will be one, one, five, and nine. Okay, now once we've moved those variables, let's have the properties of this, this data. Now, let's this is as one. One. This will be sus2. This will be sus3. Okay. Now we can also name this part. So the, the small ones we shall be using a font size of 11. So let's say this is U1. 
then we continue to put the uh, u2 u3 continue we shall be doing this because this is so annoying because you have to do this manually but uh, because we are here we won't skip this let's have these levels so that uh, we do not have uh, variables lacking names on our model sorry for that this is five have uh, six u6 this will be u7 our font still has to change to 11 u7 u8 with the font 11 and then the last one at u9 11 at u9 okay then having done this now we'll have to do the the covariances of the correlations in the model we'll have to do the covariances in the model so here this is a correlation then we also have another one here and we have this one So we've now drawn the covariances. Now we have to. Now that we have this is now our model. This is uh, the factor analysis in Amos. This is Amos. This is just a analysis tool. We'll have now to get. Once we've drawn the model, we now know what are we going to estimate we come on the analysis of the properties so we have to get the maximum amount we want to give the estimates of the means then we will have to in the output we need this standard estimates we get the covariances we can also have to get the all that you need check whatever output that you need from the this model those one now i'll use this then this will now be my data i first allow to save let me save this now after that you can now calculate the means so you can see we have now a chi-square of 0 0.89 uh, with the degrees of freedom 24. That is the result from the model. You can have this. You can look at this as the correlations between these variables. You can make this one. You can just let it look nicer. You remove this. Uh, remove this. Uh, the, the values here okay again here the same it's fact it's also knowing that you'll have to do for each and every uh, element manually like this there's no way actually it's annoying but we have to do it so that we can make our model much visible now, this is now what we have done this is the model it has the models as we were saying it's just one as the two the six and eight just two three so these are just elements of factors of uh, that explain this variable uh, this is another one affect as uh, if it was let's say sensitivity assuming this as one is sensitivity these are the factors on sensitivity education this is the factors on uh, education 
and contact. This is the factors of contact. Now, once we've done this, we have our model. We can check on our results. We can view this data. Now, this is the lots of this is the model. Chi square of 89, probability level 0 0.0019, meaning that it is significant. The parameter summary, this is what we have. We can we can now report each and everything on the model has now been out. There's an output for each and every uh, these are the squared multiple squared correlations, the factor weights here. You will now explain your model as per your need using this that these results. This is the model that has been fit. I think that is what we can do today. Uh, thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll be continuing to do more analysis on this channel. We have a lot of analysis in different softwares and anytime and every week we shall have it. We'll be having a video uploaded on the channel. Please subscribe and let's learn that analysis together. Uh, from my side, I just want to say thank you and continue watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.